Welcome to Anywhere Math. I'm Jeff Jacobson, and today we're going to move on from solving equations and talk about inequalities, specifically how to write and graph inequalities. Let's get started. Okay, before we get to examples, let's talk about what exactly is an inequality. An inequality is just a mathematical sentence that compares expressions. Okay. Notice, uh, if you look at the word inequality, you'll see equal in there, right? Just like in equation, you can see equal in there. But before that, you see the prefix in. And the prefix in means not. So an inequality is not equal, okay? It's not an equation. It does not have an equal sign in it. Instead, it has other symbols that mean uh, different things, and we're going to go over those symbols right now. All right, here's example number one. Write the sentence as an inequality. So basically, we're just translating these sentences into an inequality. Uh, so let's read them just left to right like normal. A number C... Okay, so we're going to have C is less than, that's important, we know what less than means, if you don't look back at those notes from the what we just talked about, uh, is less than negative 4. So C is less than, right, that looks like that, negative 4. There we go, we're done. C is less than negative 4. Okay, let's look at the next one, B, a number K plus 5 is greater than or equal to 8. Okay, So let's see. We've got a number k. Plus means we're adding. We're adding 5. Now, is greater than or equal to? Okay, Greater than would be that, but because it says or equal to, we have to have the line underneath. Okay, Greater than or equal to 8. So that's going to look like that. K plus 5 is greater than or equal to 8. Now the last one, 4 times the number. Q is at most 16, so we've got 4 times a number Q. So that would be 4 times Q, which is just 4Q, is at most 16. Now at most, let's think about that. If you say something's at most 16, well, can it be more than 16? No, it's at most. That means 16 is the maximum. Uh, it has to be 16 or less than that. So that would be 4Q is less than, you got to think, can it, be, can it be equal to 16? Yeah, at most 16, that's the maximum. It can be 16. So it's less than or equal to 16. Okay. 4Q is less than or equal to 16. It, this 4Q cannot be more than 16. That's at most what it is. Okay. Here's some more to try on your own. Okay, before we get to the next example, let's talk about what a solution to an inequality looks like or what it means. Uh, just like an equation, a solution to an inequality is just a value that makes the inequality true. Okay. Same thing as an equation, right? The only difference is, is that for inequalities, most of the time you're going to have more than one solution. If I say uh, x is going to be less than 6, well, 5 is less than 6. That would be a solution. 4 is less than 6. That's another solution. 0 is less than 6. That's a solution. Negative a million is also less than 6. So all of those would be solutions. So what we say is a solution set. A solution set is all solutions to an inequality. Okay. 
all the solutions together, we call those the solution set. And most of the time we'll, we'll show that using a graph, okay? Let's try another example. All right, here we go with example two. Tell whether the value is a solution of the inequality. So again, a solution to an inequality means it would make the inequality true. And just like with equations, uh, to tell if a solution is, or it's sorry, to tell if a value is a solution, all we do is substitute. Okay, so x plus one is greater than seven. We're testing whether x is equal to eight is a solution. So I'm just going to substitute that eight in for x. Uh, so that would be eight plus one is greater than seven. Eight plus one is nine. The question is that greater than seven? Yes, of course, 9 is greater than 7, so yes, x equals 8 is a solution to that inequality. Next, 7y is less than 27. We're testing the value 4 for y, if that's a solution, so I'm going to substitute that 4 in for y. I get 7 times 4. Use your parentheses, right? That means multiplication. If I don't have them, it looks like 74, uh, is less than 27. So 7 times 4 is 28. The question, is that less than 27? Well, no, 28 is not less than 7. 28 is greater than 7, which means no. Y equals 4 is not a solution to that inequality. Okay, here's some to try on your own. Okay, this is our last example. Uh, graph the inequality. We've already written inequalities, translating them from sentences. We've looked at how to tell if a value is a solution. Now we're going to graph. And if you remember, inequalities most of the time have more than one solution. And I mentioned we call all the solutions together the solution set. And a great way to represent that solution set is by graphing. Okay? So we're going to graph x is greater than 2. Um, to do that, notice we only have one variable. Sorry about that. We only have one variable. We're not going to be graphing on a coordinate plane because that has an x and y value. Instead, this is going to be one dimensional. We're graphing on a number line. So first thing, just draw your number line. Arrows at the ends because they go on. It goes in both directions forever. Um, I always like to start with at least uh, one number. I'm going to start with just zero right there. And then put a line, uh, mark where the other number is. So two is up here. Now the question is, x is greater than two. Okay, That's all the values greater than two. It's not greater than or equal to two. It's just greater than two. So I don't include two. To show that I don't include it, I put an open dot or an open circle. Okay. All the solutions are going to be greater than that. So what I do is I just draw an arrow pointing to all the numbers that are greater than 2. That is my graph. That's it. So open circle because it doesn't include 2. It's just greater than. Uh, and to the right because that's all my numbers that are greater than 2. Okay. Let's look at B. Y is less than or equal to 4. So again, I'm starting with just a number line. Uh, I'm going to have 0 here, 4 there. This is Y is less than or equal to. So 4 is also a solution. So I'm not going to have an open circle. I'm going to have a closed one or a closed dot. Okay. You put it on the number line, by the way. We don't do it above the number line, right on there. Okay. Now. Uh, the rest, y is less than or equal to 4. So all the numbers that are less than 4, that would be to the left. So my arrow goes to the left. And there's the graph of that inequality. Okay, here's some more to try on your own. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, please subscribe.